everybody it's Liz here from Dyslexia Daily. I am again in red, kind of a dark red today. This is a dress that I bought that I have never worn and I thought today it's dark red, it will do the job. So we've started our series on why you would go ahead and get a dyslexia diagnosis. So today I want to continue that discussion with the topic of why you need to know if your child has dyslexia or not. So let's get stuck into it. So there seems to be a general worldwide trend at the moment that there is a reluctance to label children with a specific learning difficulty like dyslexia. And most parents will have their own view on it. Some believe that they can't get the help they need without a diagnosis. Others do not want to label their children because they believe that it will be detrimental for them long term. But my thoughts have always been, it's what you do with the label that counts. Labels can be private, they can be public. And based around public um, security these days, it is very much a confidentiality issue about if you want your dyslexia to be talked about or not, either at school level, university level, or the workplace level. But it's always good to have a diagnosis because then you actually know what you are dealing with. So, of course, once you do have your diagnosis, your child should receive the level of assistance they are entitled to from the relevant educational authorities. And that is not just your elementary or primary school or your secondary school. I'm also talking about universities, tertiary institutes, and in many cases, the workplace. They should all be providing the person who is diagnosed with dyslexia with the relevant accommodations and allowances to ensure that they can do the job to the best of their abilities. So regardless of the extent of their dyslexia or learning difficulty, wouldn't you want your child or your student to have as much assistance available to them while they're at school or in tertiary or at, in the workplace? You know, childhood, youth, and it's such a short phase of a person's long life. However, we all know that what happens during those years can determine the adult that your child will become, the, the attitudes, the skills and the confidence they will develop and the future they have to look forward to. Ultimately, it's the parent's choice whether their child will be tested or not and whether you want a label to be applied or not. Don't waste the opportunity though to help your child from as early as possible. And I'm saying the child who is struggling in grade three will continue to fall further and further behind as the years progress. There is no instant fix or instant cure for dyslexia. It takes time, effort and knowledge to be able to compensate and overcome all the challenges that it presents. Even if you don't have a definite diagnosis or label, you can um, see, still see a specialist. Your child can still receive extra assistance from teachers and educational specialists and parents if they're struggling to learn and are not reaching their educational benchmarks. There is also no reason why you can't begin to offer your child assistance in your own home in terms of their homework or the tasks that they are doing at home. Please remember that many experts define dyslexia as a complex brain processing problem which needs to be diagnosed accurately by specialists with the appropriate qualifications. When your child is at school, their classroom, most teachers will see only their behaviour. So their classmates will see their behaviour, their teachers will see their behaviour, and also all the schoolwork that they produce. And this can illustrate areas of concern or symptoms of a learning dif difficulty like dyslexia. And also it can also show certain brain processing issues that are going on, but it is not and never will be an accurate way to diagnose dyslexia. So that is why you parents and you teachers need to know if your child has dyslexia or not. I hope that was really helpful. 
Hello to everybody who's watching. It is Dyslexia Awareness Month and I'm thrilled to be able to have the opportunity to tell you all about dyslexia and diagnosis. Tomorrow's topic is going to be on who is qualified to test your child for dyslexia. So I hope you are there for that. All of these Facebook Lives are getting transferred over to do our YouTube page on Dyslexia Daily channel. So if you want to see them all in one place, go along there and have a look. And I hope you have a super day, everybody. It is really warm here. But um, yeah, as I said, I've got a nice dress on, so I'm doing okay. So goodbye, everybody, and I will see you again tomorrow.